My friends, as I'm walking around here, this property that is to be Axe Church, and Axe Church's administrative office and manse, I'm looking at the debris and the things that have been just pretty much cast out from the old structure. But there's a place behind me where a lot of the debris is going to be used as a foundation for another part of the structure. And so many times when people look at us and they know that things are not right and they know that things are discards for our life, what happens is that they begin to reject us and throw away this and throw away that. And we become, in effect, throwaways, candidates of, 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 of distraction, candidates of destruction, candidates of rejection. Why? Because we no longer seem viable in other people's eyes. We no longer seem like we are able to support what would be coming in the future. But I'm going to tell you something like the potter, with the pot that he was working on that was broken, the very thing that has been discarded becomes something that is useful in the hand of the potter, and he makes a new vessel. We are making a new vessel with this building. We are taking some of the old parts of the building and we are going to be using that for the foundation of the new. And I will tell you that there are things in your life and in my life that God has taken, the things that other people may ignore, the things that other people may have rejected, the things that have hurt us, the things that have challenged us, the people that we meet today and yesterday and the day before that came into our life and we think you know, when we met them, we would think that they were going to be there forever or they were going to be there and be supportive, you know, forever. But that's not necessarily the case. And when those things happen, when the challenges come, we feel hurt and we have the pain and we have the challenges. But I'm going to tell you something. That's the foundation for the next season. I, I want you to really understand that God never allows you to be so hurt never allows you to be so um, taken advantage of, never allows you to, to get under a, a situation that does not bring you later on a greater success. Because like Job, you'll become twice as blessed. Like Job, you'll become twice as prosperous. Like Job, you'll increase in so many ways, your friends would wonder and their ears would tingle. So I want to tell you today, Hold on to God, no matter what you're going through. Your foundation is being set. God bless you.